I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on statistics. In this particular video, we'll try to understand how to estimate mode in group data. Let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for making my videos on this topic very popular and I hope you will learn from this video and appreciate it. We need to calculate mode from the following data. Marks obtained, number of students. The interval for marks obtained is 20 and number of students as you can see is 7, 10, 12, 6 and 4. Now we need to find the mode. Let me just warn you one thing that it is just an estimate, a mathematical calculation which may not be the true fact, right? So that is important to understand. Okay. So mode basically means most frequent, right? So when we say mode, we mean most frequent. Now this number seven could be small, but you know, all seven students could have get, could get 15 marks, for example, then it becomes a popular number, right? So, so in a group data, it's very difficult to estimate. But anyway, we have uh, understood that there are some ways to follow and we do have a formula here to work with. So as per our formula, we'll calculate mode in this particular example. So the steps are, you look for the highest number in the frequency. Highest frequency is 12. That really means that this is the interval in which we are expecting mode. Perfect. So mark this and we have a special name, which is this is called the modal class. So that is our modal class. Now from here, using the formula, we'll find the mode. Formula for mode is like this. We know now that the mode, the number of marks which most students have got is somewhere in between 40 to 60. So the lowest limit for us is, is 40 in this case. So, so in our case L, the lowest limit is 40. The number shown here. So it is definitely either 40 or higher than that, right? So the formula is L plus something. This something in the numerator we have difference in frequencies. This is the modal frequency, let's call this as F, minus the one lower to that. So I'll say FL, right? And in the denominator, we kind of average it out. We say two times F minus FL, and also minus F, which is on the higher side. So L and H helps us to remember what goes where times the class interval h in our case the class interval is 20 perfect and we can see that the lower frequency which is fl is 10 the higher one here is h and f itself is 12 Substituting these values, we can easily calculate the estimated mode, right? So we get here the value as L is 40 plus 12 minus 10 over 2 times 12 minus 10 minus 6 times 20. So that is how we are going to calculate the mode, right? Remember, this is a calculated mode. It may not really represent the correct situation. So let's work this out. So we have 40 plus, we have 12 minus 10 equals 2. We are going to divide this by 24 minus 10 minus 6. And they will multiply by 20. So we have a number 5 here. And when you add 5 to 40, we get 45 as our mode, right? So the answer is that mode is 45. 
And that is how you do it using the given formula. So I, I hope it's straightforward. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Follow some links which I have provided you with this video and also feel free to share my videos. Thanks for watching and all the best.